democratic process. There is an elected government to say that the result is not democratic. There's no real serious response besides really laughing. Um, I think what's happening at the moment in Israel is quite um, frightening in a way, where the losing side is using all methods possible to try and cause fear, just like you mentioned, and uh, really make people scared as if this is the end of Israel, or Israel as they wished it would be. Um, I can try and understand where these things come out from leaks of what is, or what they think is, in the coalition agreements. Um, we see already, just today, in the uh, Washington, uh, in the jo um, Wall Street Journal, Bezalel Smotrich wrote already uh, an op-ed that he understands that he won't be able to push sovereignty as quickly as he would have wished. So you see a campaign for their base, and then they govern for their people. But there is a slight problem in Israel, where unlike in the United States that you know that from one election to another you have four years, here we're in a constant election process. So even though the government hasn't, hasn't been yet sworn in, we're already preparing for the next round of elections, and that's where some of the politicians forget that they actually also need to govern, and they're still in their election campaign. Uh, it, it's important to say before I begin to criticize uh, Israeli democracy that, that Israel is an extremely vibrant democracy. If the, uh, the hallmark of, of a democratic country is free and open elections, we have more of them than anybody. We've had five of them in the past five years, so we are an extremely democratic country. Um, but. Um, you are right that we're hearing um, ongoing claims by the left in Israel that it's the end of democracy. I think it's important to explain a, 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 an interesting linguistic uh, fact. Uh, Chief Justice Aaron Barak, who is the dominant figure in Israeli jurisprudence over, over the past few decades, um, coined a term, he called it substantive democracy. Substantive democracy <coughs> is simply progressive values. And in this way, he simply tied all of progressivism to the term democracy, so that anybody who isn't a progressive is therefore against democracy. That's why you're hearing in, in recent days in Israel, everybody said, what's well, the end of democracy? Uh, what it really is is progressives who think that it's the end of progressivism, and I hope they're right. 